Good evening. This is Mellow. Well, I'm making some pumpkin dumpling this evening. Boil. Well, how I clean my pumpkin, I use a spoon and I scoop out the inner part of my pumpkin. When I finish scooping out the inner part of you peel it. My pumpkin. I slice it up like this and then I cut it up in small chunks. What about the skin? You peel off the skin, you gotta know that. Yes, I already peeled the skin off. Okay. So I cut it in small chunks. All right, you have to... After cutting it in small chunks, I put it in the blender mm -hmm. and I blend it. I use some coconut milk in mine to make it taste better. It give it a good flavor. So, let me get this together, and later I show you the rest. So he's cutting the milk right now, and he's gonna pour just a small amount of the milk into the the, the um, container here so that he can blend it. Now, this is mellow again. Now. I have my coconut milk here. I will pour about half cup of coconut milk into my pumpkin. Now, my wife is showing me the way how she make it. So, I have to stop for a little while and get it together again. Now, I'm here again. I got my coconut milk with my pumpkin. I'm going to blend it now. When I finish blending, I'll show you how it is. Hello, this is Melo again. Well, I finished blending, so I am pouring out my pumpkin, my blended pumpkin, then I had mine. That's about how many cup of flour? Tell them. I had two cup of flour. Mm -hmm. Then I started to stir it. After stirring and it get hard, then I will put it in a pot of boiling water. So at this moment, he's rubbing up the flour with the pumpkin that he already blended. And it's very watery, so he's going to continue kneading the flour until it gets to a nice, subtle way. So let it continue knead the flour and we'll get back to you, okay? So he already did the two cup of flour. And it's very soggy still. Very, no, it's very, not so very soggy. It is a little bit soggy. It needs a little more flour. So that's what I am doing at this moment. We well, right now he used like another cup of flour into it. Because, um, you know, you have to be very careful with liquid with the, um, with the pumpkin. Because the pumpkin already is very liquidy. So, the more of liquid you put in there, is the more water it gets. So, we have to use more than the two cups of flour. So, right now we use three cups of flour. And it's coming out okay at this point. I'll get back to you as soon as possible.
Well, he's back again. So there it is. He put the, the water on and um, the water is boiling up. There it is. It's boiling up. He put a little salt into the pot. And there it is. There it is. He's making some flour. There it is. <laughs> anyway, and he's going to put it in. And it's going to boil for maybe, say, about 15 minutes. Yeah, about 15 minutes of boiling. And then, as soon as he finished making the dumpling, you can show him, show them one more that dumpling that you made. Okay, there it is, there it is. So we're gonna make a couple of them and we're gonna put it in a pot and let it boil for a couple of minutes and then when it finished boiling, we'll get back to you, okay? Be right back. So there it is. We decided to leave some over and there it is. So we made about six of them. And we're going to let it boil and the rest we're going to take and leave it over for another day because it's just the two of us you know so we're going to just take it put it in a container put it in the fridge so you can do the same thing also you know if you make too much and you feel it's too much just put it away for another day especially in those glass dish but you can use plastic dish if you want also or in a foil paper and put it in the refrigerator okay we'll get back to you so there it is bubbling up it's about to come and rise to the top so as soon as the dumpling boil the dumpling come to the top it will be boiled and then we'll let you know okay all righty well ladies and gentlemen boys and girls here it is it is finished see the flour it floats on the top and the timer is ready so the 15 minutes was just perfect there it is on the top. So let's take the timer off. And uh, he's going to put one of the flour, one or two of the flour in the pot. And um, there it is. Put another one, tree. Tree makes it just perfect. All right, there it is. He's going to taste it now and see how it is. And I know it's going to be lovely. All right, don't have to do all of that, brother. Just hurry up and, um, you know, taste it. See how it tastes. How it tastes. Tastes good? Wow, let me taste a piece. Okay. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Delicious. Mm-hmm. You didn't put too much salt. It's just perfect. So, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, thank you very much for watching our video. And at least you all can say bravo. Melo didn't do a video. Cook it. <laughs> thank you for watching my video. Please subscribe. Boys and girl, have a good night, a good day, a good morning, wherever you are. And please subscribe and thumbs up to Melo. Thank you. Have a good night. Okay, well, everyone, Bye. yes, this is a quick retouch. Remember, we put, he put just a small amount of coconut um, milk into it just to make sure that the, the pumpkin was blended in the blender. So he did about a quarter pound of pumpkin. Blend it up in the blender. Don't put too much water. The less water you put, the better it is. So he used a little bit of um, of milk. You know, it's best not even to put anything. But you could put a little bit, like, do it like every teaspoon or tablespoon to make sure that the pumpkin is blended into the blender. Then after that, he used, he started off first with two cups of flour, but it was too watery. Because we put a little bit too much of the coconut milk. So he put another cup of flour, which you already seen. And then he put on the water to boil. Put a little salt in the water. And after that, what he did, he just go ahead and he boiled it for 15 minutes. Exactly. When the flour comes right up to the top where it was bubbling. And there it is. It turned off, but it's still bubbling. And there is the end of it. Isn't that beautiful? Enjoy. This is just a little snack. And that's a piece of chicken breast right there. 
Have yourself a blessed day. Be good to yourself. And if you can't be good, be careful. Remember, Marie and Mella love you. Have an awesome day. I'll take one more piece and I'm going to try it. Mmm. Tastes good. Delicious. Bye bye. Remember, thumbs up, subscribe, share, and comment. Hit the notification bell so you can get all of our videos. May God bless you. Have yourself an awesome day. Bye bye. Bye-bye.